Hello and welcome everybody to my very first tutorial video. My name is Nomek and I'm going to show you how I made my latest song, which is a live looping performance entitled Come On and Wake Up. The basic idea behind the song was uh, just one single vocal sample that I got from Cymatic's Eternity Sample Pack. Um, you can listen to the sample, which is loaded up here in my Novation launchpad. Come on and wake up, and party. A very good one. You already hear some processing and reverb and everything else. And so the basic idea was to use this sample to build a song and to only use two controllers that I have in front of me. Uh, one, the Arturia Minilab MK2, and the other being the Novation launchpad. Um, and of course the most difficult thing to to figure out is uh, to do this without having to touch the computer all right so what do we have here yeah we as you heard we have the sample Come on and wake up, and party. it's actually chopped up into different pieces you can also check it on the in in the drum rack Come so this is the whole sample this is just the wake up part and this uh, one everybody. this is everybody it switched to toggle mode you have to check what it's like but so everybody. it's playing only as long as i'm touching the key or, or the button body. and it's the same thing with body. with body yeah so that's what i have here i have another drum rack track uh, here i have lo my drums loaded up at least some of them Yeah, so that's what I'm using on, on this one. Uh, then I have a third drum rack where I have the cymbals, actually. You can take a look at here. It's, um, it's a fairly easy thing. I have a right here. I have two hi-hats. The only thing that differs is that this hi-hat is transposed, as you can see here, three semitones down, while this one is the original. These are also cymatic samples. And there's a small clap here, and the... So this is something, um, something similar to what I'm playing during the performance itself. So the good thing is that without even having to touch the computer, I can play three things here, or at least two, a drum and a vocal sample. As you can hear so that's the basic idea let's switch to the keyboard because uh, to the Arturia because I'm not really using uh, the launchpad for anything else but these things uh, on the Arturia I have one uh, synth programmed it, you can see it here on the first track It's a Neo Soul Pad Tilt, that's the name of the preset. It's taken from an Ableton pack, uh, it's called uh, Synth Essentials. So the bass, so it's a very, very straightforward bass that I just... As you can see, I'm also using uh, an auto pen here um, because without it, it would be just. It would be like this. I like to have this movement. I'm having a pedal because I. It's not bad without it, but the pedal gives it that extra. Uh, uh, that extra distortion in this case well it's basically just an overdrive because it has a very uh, very very low dry wet amount it's only well not too low but yeah it's around 44 percent um, I have a lead sorry so it's like a dripping sound like like a little water and finally um, we have a lead sound now you can hear it. It 
It's a very classic sound, but I'm using, well, loads of distortion, loads of a reverb, some auto pen and some EQ. So this would be the, the original sound. I'm adding quite some distortion to it. Some extra, uh, some extra reverb, which is a sound toys plugin, little plate. I'm using it all the time and an EQ. Yeah, um, and basically that's it. All right, of course, uh, you might ask, okay, but how am I doing this during performance? How am I not touching the computer? Because now I was touching everything. Well, it's fairly easy. Uh, two things. One thing is the, is the mapping, the keys. So if you take a look at, uh, at all the instruments, and uh, if you, you know, in, in, any, um, <clears throat> in any instrument track, if you click here, you will see uh, all the key mappings. So you can also use it for chain, for, <coughs> for editing chains, for velocities, but also the keys. As you can see, uh, now I selected only this region. So um, it's very easy. Uh, so if I wouldn't have it here, now, now you can see where I'm playing, but it's, it's here. Uh, but it's not selected uh, in in the key chain, so I have to move it over here and and set it to to a region that I'm going to use. This will be all the notes that I'm playing at once with this instrument. So that's it. Okay. So that's how we have the synth, then the bass. Same thing. So let's check uh, the instrument itself. If you take a look at the synth itself, now I'm using the octave down button and I'm switching down two octaves. Uh, it, you can see by the blinking light that it's now down two octaves. And as you can see, now it's down here. Uh, and it's only playing down there. All right. That's what I did to the bass. Same thing with the <coughs> with the lead. Um, as you can see, if I'm playing the bass, it's down here, so it's not uh, it's not being selected in this instrument. If I'm playing uh, the synth, it's also still not selected. But if I'm going up one octave, I'm already there. And the last but not least, uh, the same thing with the lead. Um, yeah, let's select uh, the keys. And here I had to I had to do a bit of trick because um, if I would go up uh, on this preset, it would be up here. So it's C6 as you can see here on on the keys, which is very very high. So I needed to um, needed to be able to play here. I mean, to, to select this region on my Arturia, but I didn't want to make the sound as high as it would be. Uh, so I pitched it down three octaves. Uh, it's a very simple thing. I'm just using the MIDI pitch effect that you can, you can find here in the MIDI uh, pitch. That's where it is. And you just load it up and then you set it down uh, 36 semitones well a little shortcut if you'd like to know if you press shift and then you press up or down it already it's already uh, changing octaves so uh, I'm plus pressing shift and then I'm pressing uh, down three times and um, so from here one octave two octaves and the third octave and that's where we are and now we have everything and there is one more thing that we need to set up and um, so now i'm switching to the session view on on the launch pad and that thing is how how i'm launching the clips and how i'm uh, making this whole thing happen so now the synth is playing and so on and so forth uh, i'm going to launch um, well all the drums now so that you can hear how it how it would come in yeah, now everything's playing. This is the actual recording that I did. Then now I'm going to, to launch the bass and the lead. Yeah, so 
and that's how it goes. But um, but how am I, how am I doing this uh, without uh, without touching anything? Now I'm deleting all um, all these, um, and I'm adding just one MIDI clip uh, on Mac. You just pressing Command Shift M, and then you're uh, adding an empty MIDI clip to that slot. I'm doing this to all of these, and um, I'm going to set the length of the MIDI clip to to eight um, eight bars because that's how long I need. Uh, I do the same thing with the drums. Uh, actually, for the cymbals, I will only need um, four bars, eight bars for the bass, and finally eight bars for the lead. Uh, and now I'm not going to play everything for you. But um, just to show you the idea how the whole thing is being uh, recorded without touching anything is the following. Uh, you have to press the session record button. If you do, um, and if you press record, uh, then it's going to go around that eight bar loop for as long, as long as you're not pressing the stop button. So I'm going to now press record on all the clips and then I'll be able to to go on without having to hit any stop buttons and this is where the magic happens now it's going on i'm switching to user mode oh yeah it's already having some okay Drums. And it's recorded. Great stuff, and I'm not pressing anything. Now, I have pressed the octave down two times, and now we're down in the bass region. So, the bass is recorded. Funny thing is that it's recording everywhere. And now we have it. Now it's sorry, it's it's not quantized. So you have to be on spot. And finally let me record just some some of the leads to show you how it works. Okay, so this was my latest tutorial about how I put together my latest live looping performance entitled Come On and Wake Up. Uh, please find me on Facebook and Instagram and uh, as always more good stuff coming soon.